the tools for board replacement, a circular saw with a carbide tip blade, a hammer, chisel, vacuum, utility knife, blue tape by 3M model 2080, dust broom, dust pan, tongue and groove adhesive, a table saw, a tapping block. Using the blue tape, tape around the damaged board and mark the board where you need to cut. Draw a line from the corners of the board at a 45 degree angle toward the center of the board. Then draw a line down the length of the board one inch from each side. Set your circular saw to cut the thickness of the replacement boards. Make cuts using the circular saw, being careful not to cut into the surrounding boards. Vacuum the sawdust from the area. Remove the blue tape. Using the hammer and chisel, remove the centerpiece from the damaged board. Carefully remove both end pieces. Carefully remove the long side pieces. You will need to make the following modifications to the replacement board prior to installation using a table saw. Blade height should be set to the top edge of the tongue. Remove only the exposed tongue that protrudes from the side of the plank. A. Remove the tongue from the long side of the board. B. Remove approximately one and a half inches of the groove side from the tongue end. Remove the ridge from the groove end of the short end using a rasp, utility knife, or wood chisel. Apply a 1 8 inch bead of tongue and groove adhesive to the grooves on the board, in the floor, and the replacement board. Insert the replacement board, locking in the side joint on the groove side. Rotate the board down flat to the floor. Using a tapping block, tap the groove end into place. Place a weight on the board until the adhesive sets. This is usually six to eight hours.